Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and making some really good trades and let's get right into it because right now Bitcoin did actually, you know, all things considered had a very good day in my opinion because if you guys were looking at the S&P 500, the traditional markets, you might have noticed that everything was essentially in a free fall. We were down about a 1.3% on the SPY, 1.75% on the, the NASDAQ, a 1.6% uh, on the IWM. Uh, you can also look at the indices as well right here. So I'm just looking at the ETFs because that's what I trade. Uh, but yeah, the indices were down big today. Uh, on the Jolt's jobs report that the you know the the rates are probably gonna have to go higher to weaken the economy more, all that good stuff, right? But Bitcoin held its ground. We did make a lower low, right? We came down to twenty seven thousand one hundred and seventy eight, uh, but it's still holding its level for the time being. Will it break down? Well, let's get into the analysis, and I'll tell you guys a little bit more about it. Okay, so at the moment, you know, we've had a nice move up. We've clearly extended the B wave a little bit higher. And right now, I still do believe that we may have put in a B wave top here unless we come up for one last wave for a wave five, which would sort of look like this, right? You would come back in into a final wave five as possibly as high as 30,000. And then after that, you'll start to come in in a pretty dramatic matter and then you'll probably head over to 22 uh, to 21,000. And I know, I know, I know, I know these price targets seem very unrealistic given where we are right now, but never you know, discount the fact that Bitcoin can have a very dramatic drop. We've seen it before, it can happen again. And just looking at the charts right now, that is what we are setting up to do at the moment. We are still in red money flow. We are right at the zero line. We could cross into green money flow at any point now. It can get bullish right in the short term, but the larger pattern is that on the weekly time frame, you had a weekly pattern failure, and now you are putting a bearish consolidation inside this red bar right so you very well could drop at any moment and when it does drop you really want to be on the right side of things you don't want to be on the wrong side of things and then longing at the highs getting ready you know bull run bull run bull run everything is fine interest rates don't matter but in reality they do right and if you look at the 20 year yield i don't even know what's happening right now you know, the 20 year yield is breaking out. It's causing all sorts of problems in the traditional markets. Everyone's freaking out. I'm getting all sorts of messages, text messages all the time. What do I do? Do I buy more? Do I, do I take the loss, buy the dip, right? Nobody knows. And right now, you know, things are setting up that we could be getting a dramatic drop in the, in the, in the days that come uh, or lead up to the CPI report. You have a red dot on a market cipher B right now. On the, and on, on top of that, you can see that the momentum waves are starting to cut back in. You're seeing that VWAP starting to cut back in as well. Uh, you have a red dot on the market cipher A, is, uh, right here, red dot. And you have a dual band strength index of 10. And is this a minus one or is it just a regular one? Let me just zoom in a little bit. It's just a regular one, right? So right now, it's, it's looking a little bit more bearish than bullish even after this dramatic rise in Bitcoin. And if we look on the smaller time frames, like the four hour time frame, you do have some green money flow. So that's why it's still possible that you could set up for a potential green dot here and any potential higher high before we start to come down lower. And I keep getting the messages that, you know, it's bear dreams, bear dreams, just bearish nonsense, ignore the FUD, bear dreams, right? Well, you know, when we were at, 4400 4500 on the s p uh you know i was making videos on hedge line trading telling people that i do believe that we are still going to come down and test 4200 the 4200 area and i got the same messages on twitter and same messages you know <laughs> on youtube bear dreams bear dreams bear dreams well you know what it's a dream come true now <laughs> right so i'm not saying that uh like, oh, look, 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 I'm right. It's, it's, not, it's not all about that. It's just, I'm looking at the chart. 
I'm warning what the charts are saying and the charts are looking quite bad and there could be more downside as well, right? So I'm just heathing what the, what the, what the charts are saying. So, right, if you take a look at the SPY, right, the SPY had a dr dramatic decrease in green money flow and we had got a red dot, red dot confirmation here on the daily time frame, followed by some selling. So I did take some short positions when we're up here. And then the charts did play out towards the downside. And now we're entering uh, red money flow. Or you're getting manipulation crosses on the futures. And you're actually getting even more bearish dual band strength index numbers. So the downside may not be over for the, the traditional market just yet. Okay. And if that if that continues, that is going to put uh, some pressure eventually on Bitcoin, and that is going to drag Bitcoin down, uh, regardless of how bullish the setups are, right? So if it you have the most bullish setup in the world, but if it's a broad market sell-off, you're going to have a down day in almost every sector, uh, unless you're you know it's like a short ETF or something like that, or you're long the volumes. Uh, anyways, moving on, uh, let's just take a look finally at Wave Edge, right? So right, Wave Edge has it had had a red cross here on one of the exchanges, I believe, right there on Coinbase, and that this one is actually playing out so far. Uh, but we'll have to see if it does keep playing out. Uh, right now, Bitcoin did not have that red cross on any other time frame. Uh, right now, on the smaller time frames, I do believe you are getting a potential green cross here, but I think it's only on two charts, so you have a 50 50 50 50 percent chance of this you know playing out i like it when the chart has the same indicator on all the charts that i look at so or else it can throw off some uh some pretty some pretty weird numbers so i right now i would uh, i would not take any long positions at the moment but again this is not financial advice this is just what i'm doing i am short these altcoins these these cryptos at the moment and i still do believe that we have lower to go uh, but it doesn't mean that you should just panic sell at the moment Right, just do do what's best for you. Do what you want, and do do what uh, do what you think is best. Anyways, um, we'll move on. Moving on very quickly, I just want to talk about the dollar finally. Uh, so the dollar, you know, it's just it's just something that is uh, going on right now with the dollar and the Japanese yen. It's still looking very very bullish on the DXY. There is no indication of a top. I still do believe that, you know, it, I, it, it even achieved my upside target of 106.5. And I still do believe that the dollar can go a little bit higher. It can even reach maybe 110, 111 and tag this upsloping trend line that we have here once again uh, before coming down in a very dramatic manner. And yes, I know we are very overbought on the RSI. The RSI is overbought, but things that are overbought can remain overbought when in the strong uptrend. If you guys take a look at GE, uh, General Electric. Look how overbought we were uh, back here in January of 2023 and look how overbought we were here in March and look how overbought we were here in April. Look how overbought we were here in July and what did the price do? The price just kept going up and up and up and up, right? So it just goes to show you just because you're overbought at a certain point in time, it does not mean that the stock is ready to roll over and crash right and same thing goes for the dollar it doesn't mean that the dollar is ready to roll over and crash just yet you're in a very strong uptrend you have a lot of green money flow and if you look at the larger time frames as well uh, there's no signs of a top just yet on the weekly time frame and even less so on the monthly time frame the monthly time frame is looking extremely bullish on the dollar and that is again bearish for equities bullish for for uh, yields all right so that's does, does it that does it about it for now I don't have anything else to update for you guys. If you guys want to get access to all my trades that I do inside the Discord, you guys can actually get some really nice trade setups. Hayden has been killing it lately with Bitcoin, ADA. He's been shorting almost everything and it's been going his way, except for the Solana trade. Solana did have a massive move towards the upside and obviously did not play out in Hayden's way, but that's why he says stop losses and he says see you, stop loss hits, see y'all Monday. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Love y'all. Peace.